Did you apply for a mail-in or absentee ballot? It's important to do everything right so your vote is counted. We'll show you how. Watch your mailbox for your ballot packet. It looks like this. Printed on the front are the words Official Election Mail. Ballots are just beginning to go out, so be patient. Here's what it looks like. Inside should be four items. A ballot, an instruction sheet, and two envelopes. One has the words Official Election Ballot printed on it, while the other is a pre-addressed envelope. If you are missing any piece, please contact the Elections Division by phone at 412-350-4500 or by email at electionscontact at alleghenycounty.us. Step 1. Complete your ballot. Using a blue or black ballpoint pen, completely fill in the oval to the left side of the candidate for whom you'd like to vote. Do not make marks outside of the oval. You don't have to vote in every race. If you've made a mistake, don't cross out or erase what you've done or your vote may not count. Request a new ballot instead by calling 412-350-4500 or emailing electionscontact at alleghenycounty.us. For write-in candidates, you must fill in the oval next to the write-in slot on the ballot and write in the name of the person for whom you want to vote. If you do not do both things, the vote will not count. Step 2. Once you reviewed your ballot and are satisfied with your vote, fold the ballot in half and then in half again. Make sure you check both sides of the ballot to make sure you voted in all races and answered all ballot questions. Insert the folded ballot into the envelope that has only the words Official Election Ballot printed on it. This is also known as the Secrecy Envelope. Seal the envelope. Please note that only one ballot can be placed in the secrecy envelope. Voters cannot share an envelope. Ballots must be returned in separate secrecy envelopes and in separate declaration envelopes. This is very important. If your ballot is not placed in this envelope and sealed, your vote will not count. Do not write on the envelope. Do not sign on the envelope. Do not put a return address on the envelope or do anything else to this envelope or your vote may not count. Step 3. Once you put your ballot in the envelope and sealed it, place the sealed envelope in the larger pre-addressed envelope and seal that envelope. This envelope is known as the declaration envelope. Step 4. Read the back of the declaration envelope carefully. At the top are check boxes reminding you to sign and date the declaration envelope in your own handwriting and that your ballot is sealed inside the secrecy envelope and that it is placed inside the declaration envelope. The first section is where the voter will sign their name and write today's date. Please note that you are writing the date in which you completed the ballot and not your birth date. The second section is for voters who are unable to sign their declaration envelope due to an illness or physical disability. The voter will place their mark in the box and the witness will write today's date, their address and sign on the bottom line. Step 5. That's it. You can put your voted ballot in the mail or you can return your voted ballot to the Elections Division in the County Office Building downtown. Mailed ballots are being returned directly to the Elections Warehouse, where the receipt will be recorded. Returned ballots will be recorded as received and then placed in the locked ballot box until transported to the Elections Warehouse. The unopened ballot envelope will be secured in a locked room, under camera, until Election Day, when ballots can begin to be opened and counted.